Hey everybody, I'm Holly Love. I'm Rich Bonaducci. And you're watching Talk 365. On KJazz. Welcome to Talk 365, everybody. We have a great show for you today. Yes, we do. Uh, we are chatting with uh, Rob Abrams from The Bagel Project. Great story, great bagels. Stick around. And I've got news you can use, so you are going to be getting everything latest and greatest in self-improvement. And today I've got a special one. It's kind of a passion project because... I love lashes. <laughs> I do. Yes, you do. And you know you're going to love it, too, because you love Rosalyn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Post sell from Sweet Lash. Oh, yeah. So we got some fun stuff coming up. But, uh, Rich, what have you been up to lately? You know what I've been up to lately? What? Oh, oh. Well, during the day, I work at WGU, and then at night, I see movies, and then I write about them for the Standard Examiner and Salt Lake Magazine, and uh -huh. then on Friday mornings, I go to Fox 13 and talk about them, and then in between that, I research and do this thing, and then edit it. You know what I've been doing. I'm just wondering what's happening with your shirt. Is there stuff on it? No, this is in the shirt. I like this shirt, but well, everyone like does it that. Too. Everybody they, does like, that. Think maybe I don't know if you can see that. But people go, oh, oh, it's part of the shirt. Oh, it's, and then they go, oh, it's yeah. good. I like it. I like yeah. it. The only thing I just realized, it might uh -huh. actually have slashes of green in it. Oh. Which will be really interesting for a green key effect. That could be fun. Or chroma key. What's happening? What label is it? Where'd you get it? In case, you know, fans want to have a cool shirt. I don't know. I'm going to guess Express for Men. Could be. That's kind of your jam. It's my jam. He took me to Express, not for men, but for everyone, men and women up in Park City yeah. during the Sundance Film Festival, and there was a huge clearance sale. I'm not wearing anything from there just right now, but I have to tell you it was awesome. I highly recommend that place. And it was they so had much a fun. sale on their special socks. He's a sock guy. A sock guy. It's true. Oh my goodness, where did you get those? I can't remember where I got Were they from, from the Express? No, they were not. Wow, look how was, flexible look I am. Look how flexible, look how flexible I am. <laughs> that was terrifying. Uh, okay, I have a story for you before we go to a break because um, I went grocery shopping finally. You know how we talked about how you've been a little bit busy? A little bit. Um, I haven't grocery shopped in two months. Like literally. I was eating like tuna fish. I was eating the stuff that's like considered food storage like at, <laughs> at some point and then I have friends who feed me a lot and then there's always, you know, what you find at the neighborhood market in North Salt Lake. And Mobetta. Uh, yeah, the, that lasts for at least two days when you bring me that. That's right. You feed me, people feed me. It's a good thing. But I made it to the store, went at like 2 a.m. And this is kind of an old story because this was the night before Easter. And I forgot to tell you about it because it was a really good time. Okay. Store, store that shall not be named. Night before a huge holiday, right? Saturday night. So don't you think like they'd be prepared? 24-hour, open joint, big, big store. Sure. Holly goes in. $350 order at least. We're talking the cart is over. I had nothing. Like we're, I had to buy like cleaner and like um, toilet paper and all the necessities that you're completely out of. Should we not say toilet paper? Oh no, I just think it's interesting that you were out of toilet paper. I was out of everything. No. Uh, well, I mean, not really out, but anyway. I had to buy absolute, I mean, if you think about it, I was out of it and I bought it and the cart was like overflowing. I had, um, my friend Andy there was helping me. Nail files. I didn't have nail piles, but I had nail polish remover. Okay. I had a massive list. So we're there. It is like 2 a.m. by the time I make it through the list. And I was making cheesy potatoes for Easter the next day. Cheesy potatoes? You know, funeral potatoes. Oh, okay. The Mormon favorite. I got it. You have to have it with him. They're good, actually. They are so, mine turned out really good. So, oh, and by the way, they were completely out of normal hash browns, and so we used O'Brien's, Mamita, they work, and you don't have to use the onion. There's a tip in there. However. I am, I know how to cook. When making, like, lasagna, and they call for some kind of, like, sour cream or something, mm -hmm. you can't use whipped cream instead of it. Did you learn that the hard Just way? Just because it says cream, they're not the same cream. Did you learn that the hard way? Yep. How long ago? Last week? What time is it? <laughs> Today. Continue. Okay. 
Um, but O'Brien potatoes versus hash browns, it's interchangeable, and you just don't have to cut up an onion. It was great. Sour I was cream, really whipped cream. I was totally get it. Totally different. Okay, so we go to the checkout. We had noticed when we walked in that they had called a checker to the front because it had looked a little bit busy. So we're like, we're, we're good. Um, we come to the self checkout, and I look at the lady and I say, "You obviously you want to get on your thing and bring a little lady down and." man boy someone from the back they're like stalking the store and she's just like no come on in do the self checkout for 350 bucks worth of stuff the thing is overflowing and the line is like we just look at her and we're like okay, okay. so you know how you have to like ring it up one at a time and then it has to like notice the weight yes. in order for it to be fine yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at some point it started oblying the espanol because we, she had to just keep hitting clear because we'd pull the bags off and throw them in, and it was like, por favor, continue con detención, and it was like screaming in the espanol at me because I was doing everything wrong, and it wasn't weighing correctly, and it wasn't beeping. People piling up behind me. I kept looking at this poor lady, and she just kept clearing the thing, and we somehow we made it through the entire experience. Moral being, I need to shop more regularly or find a personal shopper who I'm wants so to grocery sorry, shop Andy. for me. It was a bad, but hey, we're still friends, which I think is a pretty big test of friendship, if when you, you can, ask me. When you can make it through the self-checkout with 350 bucks worth of stuff and still talk. And not murder each other. That's pretty good. Or anyone else at For that, that store that I'm not naming to be nice. But maybe night before a major holiday, have hash browns and some checkers on hand. Easter's not that major. It's a big food holiday. It's, they had no hash browns. There not, had been a run on the store. It's not Halloween. Oh my goodness. Okay, when we get back, we have got a news you can use that is going to be spectacular. I know this because I've prepared it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this. So used whipped cream? I, I replaced whipped cream for sour cream. What were some, you making? I can't remember, but what a bad idea. Never. <laughs> no, my mother still talks about it. Talk 365 studio space provided by Media Riff. Hey, Steven. Still struggling with where to earn that degree? Yeah. I just don't want to waste time learning stuff I already know. Check out WGU. They let you fly through what you know so you can focus on what you don't. Really? That's wise. <laughs> Was that an owl joke? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Innovative, online, and surprisingly affordable. WGU. It's a new kind of view. Lashes for the Talk 365 team provided by Sweet Lash. Welcome back to Talk 365. I hear we've got a news you can use that is beauty-based and cool. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. I love the last one, and I did not expect to. I know. So, okay. Um, last week we talked about microblading, which is a really cool new technique for eyebrows. I gave you all the scoop. If you missed it, look us up on YouTube. Um, you can see the segment. It's a really cool new way that they do eyebrow tattoos to fill it in, and they look really natural because they do teeny tiny little lines. Very cool. But... I actually know a local artist that does it, so maybe we can chat with her Ooh, we eventually. Prob we probably should chat with yeah. her and find out about it. Call me Casey. Okay, Casey, call us. In the meantime, um, the next thing I get questioned about all the time is eyelashes, along the same line of thinking from eyebrows to eyelashes, because eyelash extensions are the latest and greatest thing. And the thing that is like literally a global phenomenon right now is a technique called volume lash. It is out of Russia, it is only a couple years old, and there are very few places here in America, North America, that practice the real volume lash safely and correctly. All the good stuff comes out of Russia. <laughs> so here's the story on how I learned about this and what the difference is between volume lashes and normal eyelash extensions because I've known about eyelash extensions for a long time. But when I lived in LA, I had a girl come and stay with me who was from Estonia. She was there to take classes. Um, it was a friend of a friend and she needed a place to crash. Gorgeous. I mean, I am telling you, she was tan, she was blonde, and she had these black, beautiful, natural eyelashes that she would just wake up every day and we'd go to run in and I would see her wake up and not put on any mascara. 
And I would be like, it is really true. People come to LA and they're genetically perfect and superior to me. And I, I, I would cry myself to it, sleep at night it over true. it. That's why I live here. It wasn't true. Because here's the thing. I finally got up the nerve to ask her about it. Like, your eyelashes are just like, it's, it's not even fair. And never once did I think they were fake. Because even then, I had seen people who had extensions. And while they were lovely, they didn't look that natural. And you could tell. Um, and the good from the bad. But she told me it was this new technique called Volume Lash out of Russia, and it's like the latest and greatest thing. And so when I came to Utah, that was what I wanted because when I started doing TV, I wanted to save time. I wanted to be able to not have to spend so much time. My eyelashes are really light. Um, I, they're thick and they're long, but it took a lot of mascara and it took a lot of time. And so I was really excited. But there is a huge difference and lashes have come a, a really long way. And this Maybe. volume lash technique is just, it makes all of the difference because your eyelashes would determine how many extensions you could have previously before volume lash came oh, along. Oh, they would just extend the lash you had. Yes, and okay. it, it was a certain amount of size because if you overload the lash with too much weight, it can kill the hair follicle and never grow back. Oh, okay. So that's terrifying, yeah, that's number one. that's not a good thing. Which is why you want to make sure whoever you're going to really knows what they're doing. Because if they glue too many on, if they glue your eyelashes together, if your eyelashes get pulled out and they don't just come out naturally because of too much extensions or too much weight, the hair follicle will die and they won't grow back. So trust me, I was very, very specific on who I would let touch my eyelashes. Or you can just do what I do, you just wake up. <laughs> and then you go outside. Not everyone is as beautiful naturally as you are, Bonaducci. Come on now. No. I mean. Go on. Go ahead. Anyway, so the cool thing about Volume Lash is basically what they've done with this technique is they have taken the a weight and they have split it down to being three little volume lashes per one regular eyelash. And your lash artist will basically customize each individual little fan, build them for you, your eye shape, your face shape, perfectly so that it looks natural and full and beautiful. And you can have like three or four different little fans. And here's the cool part. It actually weighs less that way than the old one singular regular one. They probably developed this science on the space station. In, and this in, is in why, Russia. yes, in the International in Space Sputnik. Station. This is why we should fund space exploration. <sighs> It, this is somehow going to make it back to have, having them figure out how to do this to your hair, huh, Bonaduce? Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't go there yet. So I looked everywhere when I came back here, and the people who are doing volume lashes are Sweet Lash. Rosalind Postel, she is not only a sponsor of our show, this is completely unsolicited because I am here to just tell you why you need to go there or find someone that has been trained by her. She is one of the first people to bring actual volume lash, the real thing, to North America, number one. She is nationally recognized and And it's ranked. in Layton. And it is in Layton, Utah, right here in Utah. They are the real thing. The real Russian volume lashes, properly trained, they're not gonna fall out. They last like three weeks. You go in for like an hour, maybe hour and a half, once every three weeks. Um, you can even go quicker if you want to. You can go a little bit longer, depending on how full you like to keep them. Um, and it is a fantastic thing if you're a busy mom, if you're someone who works and you want to just wake up. I would rather do that than have my nails done, than to have pedicures, I, just because of the time and then the benefit that you get from it. It's one of those like high maintenance, low maintenance. You do it once, it's done, and then you don't touch it. And Rosalind knows what she's doing. She's won competitions and things. Yes, she's won all kinds of competitions. She's done reality TV shows for it. And the cool thing about her is she actually brings in Russian teachers and trains other artists from all over who don't work for her. So if you are someone who does lashes and would like to learn how to properly do volume lashes, go to sweetlash.com and you can look up and see when she's having another class. Or if you're someone who wants lashes and you want to make sure you know they're being done right and your eyelashes are not going to fall out permanently, you definitely need to go see the beautiful people at Sweet Lash. I absolutely love them. I highly recommend lashes. They're the best. Russian teachers, huh? Yeah. So that's news you can use, kids. What did you think? I think that I'm going. Really? Yeah. What are you going to do? I'm going to get a spray tan. 
because they have the they wolf. They do. I know the they mystic the spray tanner. The mystic spray tan. You know what? I swear, she, I, I swear she did that so that boys could go get something done while the girls are getting their well, lashes. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, I, especially because it's healthier than, than just getting burned, for crying out loud. Absolutely. And I think what they do is that stuff is made from, like, crushed almonds. It, and they mix it wow. with, with minerals and things. It's actually good for your skin. So I love it when you jump in on my news you can use and you know more than me. I know things. About girly stuff. And stuff. Not girly, because everyone loves a good spray tan. Everyone everyone likes to look good. Well, I'm excited because Val, is rich as Val, is going to get eyelashes. And now she's going to be like a perfect specimen because we established last week she has the perfect eyebrows. And now she's going to get volume lashes. And I'm going to get sprayed. And you're not spayed. Sprayed. Hand while she does that. I'm, I'm glad not speaking. Right. All right, well, that's it, kids. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back with what, Rich? We are going to chat with the owner of the Bagel Project. Not only are they bagels, they're, it's a great story. So stick around. We'll be right back right after this. Lashes for the Talk 365 team. Yes, that's you, Rich. Just kidding. It's Holly. Provided by Sweet Lash. Hey everybody, it's Holly Love and I am here with my old friend Todd Summers. Todd, you are now the marketing manager of University Credit Union and guess what? I just became a member today. Tell them why they should become members. You should become a member, especially if you love University of Utah. See our red color, Holly's red hair, the lips, it's, it's just, it works. Lots of benefits from a credit union. No fees, low interest rates on loans, car loans, friendly local service. Speaking of car loans, I've been needing a new car and you guys were fantastic. You recommended that I come here first before I go to the dealer, get pre-approved. I figured out what's going on with my credit, what I need to do to fix it, uh, how much my loan will be, how much I would pay per month in order to get the car I want to be in. You guys were so helpful. I am like prepared, armed, ready for battle to go find the perfect car. There is really just no excuse to not get in here to University Credit Union and join. Become a member today. Like me and Todd. Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union. Welcome back to Talk 365. And speaking of talking, we've got ourselves a small talk. Yes, you chatted do. with uh, Rob Abrams, the owner mm -hmm. and operator of the Bagel Project, with our friends from University Credit Union. We did. Yeah. This is a really cool story. I almost want to tell you myself it's so cool, but let's just let him. Let's let him tell He it. does a really, really good job. And yeah. this segment is so much fun. If you missed our last show, we have a new segment brought to you by University Credit Union called Small Talk, which you talked about. Happened kind of organically. Todd and I went out just to go talk to some small business loaner, owners. Todd and I went out to go talk to some small business owners about how they got their start and used University Credit Union. And now they're letting me go out and talk to lots of people. And this was one of the first. So take a look. We are here at The Bagel Project with Rob. Rob, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. So I have to tell you, I read your story online and I absolutely love it. Will you tell us how you made it from New York, you came to Utah, and you tried to give Utah the New York bagel? Yeah, absolutely. So six years ago, uh, my family moved out from New Jersey uh, to Salt Lake City due to a corporate relocation for my wife. Woke up our first morning after moving in and we were on, on the hunt for a real bagel like we were used to growing up. That was an ongoing process for the next two years of living in Utah. Uh -huh. And my wife then at some point challenged me to make a bagel. I thought she was absolutely ludicrous, but um, I don't give up on, on challenges like that. So um, six months later and 400 pounds of flour later, um, I was handing out bagels to friends and to colleagues. People just wanted more. Uh -huh. So um, I found a commissary kitchen and we started selling at the farmer's market at, uh, at the downtown Salt Lake City farmer's market. And we were selling out every weekend for two years, two seasons we did it. Mm -hmm. I was receiving so many midweek orders that um, I decided to um, put pen to paper uh -huh. and figure out if a brick and mortar would actually be worth the time. Yeah. So the financials seemed to be making sense. I went to a traditional um, national bank to look for funding. They promised me a, a six week closure time okay. from the day that we started um, talking about funding. Believe it or not, it was three months later 
that we were at the signing table, and at the signing table, they had changed the terms of, of the deal. Oh, wow. So I obviously walked away from the table. Uh -huh. The next day, I found the uh, university credit union. Mm -hmm. And from the moment that we engaged on our first, uh, in our first meetings, we just hit it off, and it was really became more of a partnership than a client-customer type of relationship. Yeah. Um, the loan officer was extremely candid and transparent, and I was as well. Six weeks later, um, we closed the deal, and uh, we're now in our 10th month of our brick and mortar. Wow, um, it's been an incredible experience. The uh, university credit union has really been uh, an amazing business partner. Um, they really understand the local um, economic landscape and how the small businesses really impact the local economy. It's been fantastic. Awesome. That's great to hear. I'll, I'll have to pass that on to the yeah, guys. Very good. Pass on. Yeah. So tell me how you picked University Credit Union versus, I mean, obviously there are other yeah. credit unions. Um, to be honest with you, I was uh, a friend of mine in the industry as well had recommended um, the, the credit union. I have never worked with a credit union before. Mm -hmm. It was the only credit union that actually stuck out in my mind from just driving around town. So yeah. um, it was just a, a quick phone call. Yeah. I love the, cus the customer service and the personal care. I, they really are like the yeah. local yeah, and the love and the willingness to help you. It's pretty, it's like unbeatable basically. And that's for me like working with them on like trying to figure out an auto loan and right. then guiding me through it and like taking out a credit card. And I mean, they're just amazing. So, yeah. and that's like, not even solicited, that's just, no, you know, the they're the really best. good too. They, it is pretty, it is pretty good. But Rob, I love your story. Um, I you. haven't tasted a bagel yet, but I am told that I can't really expect 100% it's a New York City bagel because there is certain ingredients that is absolutely unavailable here. Well, that's actually a fallacy. So, oh. yeah, it's a very good, I'm glad that you brought that oh, up. Oh, good. Yeah, so before starting this business, I really did my homework. I did extensive market research. I went to New York City where I lived for 12 years and visited all the shops that I used to um, eat bagels at, spent time with the owners, worked with the bakers, and it turns out that 90% of those bagel shops are adding preservatives and sugars to their dough. And it really turns out that the water is not the key ingredient on a great bagel. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So that's just New York City myth. That's right. That's those that's New right. York, so forget about it. Forget you know, about it. That's you know, right. You don't need New York City water. That's right. That was a that's horrible right. accident. That's all right. That was that terrible. Smart. But you know, but you don't need it. You figured it out. You're not yeah. obviously going to tell us. Well, we it's there's a couple trade secrets, but we use we use two fermentation processes that create the the bagel for how it was intended to originally be made and and, and, and to taste. So um, those two fermentation processes um, are labor intensive. They're, um, it takes a long time for um, the maturity of the dough um, to get to where we want it to be. And um, as a result, a lot of companies find it a very inefficient and, and not a cost-effective way to produce these, sure. yeah, these, these products. So um, we adhere to old world, turn of the century, or I should say pre-turn of the century um, ingredients to make our, our so we will get an authentic you New will York City you bagel will if right you, yes here. today we sold out so yes. unfortunately i don't have anything for you but oh, you come back right. and we'll hook you up we'll be back. you eat, you eat yeah. some of those bagels and we'll help you with that new york accent there I, you go will it yes it that's will. what i need to have yes. happen rob thank you so much for yes. talking to us thank, thank you. you for spending thank some you. time i will definitely be back i'm a huge fan great and these guys are gonna have a second location yeah. how awesome we I'm didn't excited. even know that yeah it's so much fun well Thank you so much for joining us, Todd. Thanks for coming. Thanks. I think we need to do this again just because I want to go around and meet more business Let's owners. Let's do. We've that got was more fun. I told you that was going to be a cool story, wasn't it? You loved it, huh? Yeah. And not as good as his bagels, though. His bagels are awesome. They are really good. They, they do have a location, and they did get their start at Farmer's Market, but they are still there. Yep. Now, I heard through the grapevine mm -hmm. that they might actually be opening another location. I think they are. What we talked about even kind of post-interview that you saw was... Rob and his lender are really good friends and they like now. brainstorm all the time, which is how it works at University Credit Union. I mean, if you have a dream and you have this idea and you think it's crazy and you're gonna need to wait until you get the kids off on a mission and through college and married and grandkids, no. Go in and just talk to them because they will become your advocate and they will help you through the process and tell you how you can make it happen, which is basically what Rob did. And now they're talking second locations. Yeah. And it, it was really fun. You know, we're a small business. We are a small business. We should be talking to them. We. I could use another camera too. 
We do need a new camera. <laughs> there you go. Lights to make me prettier. We'll chat with them, and uh, you, if you, you know, if you end up giving us a loan, we'll just talk with you, uh, talk about you a whole bunch more. So. Wow, That's I don't even I think. think you have to be their sponsor in order to make them talk to you. They'll just talk to you, man. But You're really nice. Give us a loan. I'll talk about you even more. I'm just saying. Not that it's payola. <laughs> we'll talk about you incessantly. If you give me money, you get a camera. Wow. Just saying. All right. You won't be invited back. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, you come back because we have a little bit more Talk Through 65 right after this. Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union. Need an auto loan? Come see us first and get pre-approved. University Credit Union, local to Utah, loyal to you. Set design for Talk 365 is provided in part by Consign and Design. If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. The Movie Show, Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on KJAZZ TV. University Credit Union, 16 locations from Bountiful to South Jordan. Local to Utah, loyal to you. Welcome back to Talk 365. Now, in our next show, mm -hmm. we're going to have Kent Dunn out here again from Showtime Showdown and the Bacon Sale Podcast. I love you two. Can I? Do I get to come on? Were you teasing me last time? Do I really get to come and talk to you guys? I I I, I was teasing you because I tease you all the time, but I still mean it. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you're we... going to want to tune in because we're going to have fun. We get to talk about entertainment stuff maybe. and stuff nerd stuff that I don't know about. They'll make a lot of fun of me, but I don't care because it's still fun. You know some of it because you went and saw Batman versus Superman. I have some real legitimate like film stuff to bring to the table because I do know film. I may not know nerdy geek stuff that well, like where the whole origin of Wonder Woman came from, but. I do know film, and I really like that film. Well, you are... Uh, and that's not just because I'm on your team. I usually like to harass you. I was just going to say, you're on, you're on our team. Both I Kent know. and I kind of you know, liked it when every other critic in the country hated it. But So we get to talk about why we liked it and why it's okay that you liked it, because we know all of you did based on the cells. And we're also going to talk about The Boss, Melissa McCarthy's new movie. I love her. And a little bit about Kent's uh, experience at Fanex because oh Mr. Bacon Sale got to meet Kate, Kate Beckinsale, Beckinsale. So. Which is the whole play on words with their whole podcast. Yeah. Which Check it out. I absolutely can't wait. So our next show is going to be really fun. I had a lot of fun today. I know I did a lot of talking. I'm kind of exhausted. Oh no. <sighs> but I think we accomplished some good things. Oh absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So um, have a fantastic day and be sure to tune in tomorrow. And I'll talk more then because it's all about film. I don't know, going back to school just seems impossible. Allison, what's the real issue here? It's too much money and there's not enough time. That's why WGU reinvented higher education. You can move through courses faster and graduate for half the cost. Really? Honey, just listen to the bird. You okay? Innovative, online, and surprisingly affordable. WGU, it's a new kind of view.